right, good morning, everybody. It is day two. This is way too much excitement. Let me tone it down a little bit. We're here at Catalina Island, California. It is 7.28 Pacific time. We got a good night's sleep last night. I know I did. I'm headed to uh, grab something to eat shortly. I know none of you were surprised by that. We will get off the ship today to check out Catalina Island because we've never been there before. So we're gonna be doing that. And uh, I don't know, we'll see. I was on my way to grab something to eat from Triton's, but it doesn't open till eight. So I'm gonna head upstairs. I'm on deck nine, the sun is out. That means the sun is out. But the sun is out and it's beautiful and there's not a lot of people. And by not a lot of people, I mean there's nobody out here. When you get up early, there's just a lot of uh, emptiness and quietness. This is how I enjoy my vacation sometimes. But when it's that quiet, doesn't it feel kind of weird when you have children? Because when it's quiet, that means they're up to something. Take a look how empty it is. It looks like we're in the Caribbean, but we're in California. The hills are beautiful, a lot of green, a lot of brown. The beautiful skyline of the hills when they touch the sky is gorgeous. You see folks sailing their boats. It sounds like a way to live your life. Just to be able to come out in the water and chill. Wish I had a ship and a boat. Closest thing I got to that, I can get on the ferry. But if I own my own boat, I'd be out here chilling, relaxing on Catalina Island. The weather's probably in the upper 60s. It's nice and cool, no humidity. You gotta love that, right? So. I'm enjoying it. No, this is nice. What is up everybody? Good morning. Today is day two. We are in Catalina Island and I'm excited. Okay, why am I excited? I don't know. I guess I'm excited because I get to eat breakfast at Triton's. After I went looking for my husband, I went to Concierge Lounge, couldn't find him. Then I went to Cabana's and couldn't find him. Went to Cove Cafe to get my Cranberry Bliss Bars. Y'all listen, they try to hoodwink me. Not only is this a smaller ship, they got smaller portion sizes on their stuff. That's all good. I'm gonna eat these while we get breakfast in there. This morning I have my coffee, right? And I have a nice tall glass of cranberry juice. This is my drink of choice. Every time we cruise for breakfast, this is what I get down with. Mmm. That is some nice refreshing cranberry juice right there. If you're wondering where Ray is, she went to go get the children. They're still asleep and it's late. So we're gonna get them up because they always complain about not getting breakfast at the sit down restaurants. I went back to the room to go get my kids up. Normally I let them sleep on vacation, but this is a whole new ship, whole new islands. I'm like, let's get up. But I had to go get my other little babies. My little new emo girls. This is their first trip. And um, I had to bring them on this ship. Are oh, they gonna be having breakfast too? Yep, they're gonna have breakfast and everything. So. We got our nice chilled fruit bowl with uh, melon and pineapple and watermelon and grape. What is watermelon? It's that, it's watermelon. That's what I used to tell my kids it was, watermelon. Okay. As I left the elevator, I found my first ducky. Look, it looks like a sheep, huh? And the funny part is they are from Roseville, California, which is not far from my stomping ground of really? where I kind of grew up. Compton? <laughs> Sacramento, silly. But we got lots of fruit. I'm trying to make sure you get your fiber in. For real, because I need it. Ooh, that's mango, huh? Mango, papaya, berries, I think. That's what it looks like. That strawberry is flavorful. Hey, you smell the words. It was flavorful and it was refreshing at the same time. You see how thin this fruit is cut? Oh, they're asking Tiana and Ariel if they want breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Every bit of me wants pancakes right now. I don't know why I'm denying myself pancakes this morning. I don't know either. I think I want pancakes. Or French toast. Oh, the French toast. Mm. I guess we can wait for the kids to come in. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll wait for the kids. But it's I want like, French toast. It's like breakfast number one. It really is. If you are just tuning into this video, and you didn't watch the first video, go watch the first video. This is the second day. I brought that up just to say this. What I mentioned on the first day was, we have signed up for the Hobbit dining plan. You can only get that through me. <laughs> and Zim. We're gonna have multiple breakfasts, multiple lunch, and multiple dinners. We so, do. you can judge all you want, I don't care, I'm still gonna eat. While y'all at home looking at me eat. Mm. You can just try different stuff too, if you're yeah. not sure what it is. Right, like this is a raspberry, right? I ate one already. Is it me? Well, those raspberries always seem like they have fuzz on them. Oh, they do seem like they always have fuzz on them. <laughs> like somebody had this raspberry in their pocket and just put it on his plate. 
I like good, them. though. Yeah, it's good. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. My corned beef hash. It is a must when I get on these ships to have corned beef hash. I know, but you know what's weird? What's weird? It's kind of like dog food consistency. I don't know that because I don't eat dog food. But, uh, I actually eat my dog food like this. You used to and eat it? And it look like this. No. Oh. Dog. But it look just like this. Oh, really? So. Well, maybe you was giving your dog corned beef hash. <laughs> if it looked like dog food and I saw that, I would not eat it. Oh, this looks exactly like canned dog food. I never had a dog. Oh, it looks just, y'all know what I'm talking about. It looks just like this, doesn't it? My grandmother had a three-legged cat, but other than that, we didn't. <laughs> my French toast is awry. That looks good. Oh, it does look good. And I know it's, ooh, and this plate is standing hot. Like, my fingertips is, cannot take it. Actually, everything on this, whole, since <clears throat> we've been here, everything's hot. All right, I ain't, right. That's true. Uh-huh. Oh, I think I still need to eat. I'm gonna get some bacon. I don't know why you was playing around like that. I'm about to raise you tripping. You know you won't be eating at home. <laughs> it's supposed to pass a bill in November where you can marry food. So <laughs> God, no. I'm gonna find the food. We're gonna get engaged. And then I'm gonna marry. Well, if you can break the law because you're already married. You can't. You can't have two wives. I'm gonna move to Utah. Oh gosh. The French toast. Mm-hmm. My absolute favorite as far as breakfast is concerned. Wait, let me try a bite. What? I just want one bite. Get your own French toast. I only want one bite. I don't know where you come from, but where I'm coming from, where I grew up. Sharing is caring. Well, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a bite. Hey, put in say hi. You okay? She's alive. Ooh, Ray got an omelet with bacon and vegetables. Look at my, this. This looks so good. Yes. You can have. You can have a tomato. I'll share it with you. Ooh, it's ch- look at the steam. But look at that cheese pool on there. So we got. I have cheddar cheese, onion, bell pepper, mushrooms, spinach, ham, and tomato. Look how thick this is. Oh, yeah. I've been off of pork for at least 15, 20 years. I'm going to have to call my sponsor because right now I'm going through withdrawals. Ooh, this is definitely not the same. This is not that paper thin. Like, this tastes like bacon. No, this tastes like bacon. I ain't going to give you any, but... But you know, you waving, the temptation is there. Oh, sorry. Mm. I'm pookie right now at the Carter. It's okay, I'm gonna hurry and eat it. How is it? Yeah! When you're on the Disney Wonder, you get to come into America, they feed you your food treatment. Wipe us? <laughs> I came out on the sun deck to take a look at the beautiful mountains in the background over here at Catalina Island and I see someone out there parasailing in this weather and I was thinking to myself could I have a parasail? The answer is no. I don't think I can ever do it. I'm not that daring but Ray, we have videos of Ray and my son parasailing so if you're interested in that we'll leave a link to that video down in the description. It's beautiful out here. I'm chilling in the concierge lounge and Brooklyn just walked over to me and asked me, can she go to deck four with a friend of hers that she met on the ship? I'm a little torn, everybody. It's Brooklyn, walking around shit by herself. So I said yes, but I'm about to go follow her. No, she's not allowed to walk around by herself. She gotta be at least 35. Like you. Oh, 
the sauce is so good with it. Mm. This is a better alternative if you don't like runny eggs. I went and found eggs that are the way I prefer them. I like my eggs sunny side up, but I like it hard, which means they dry up the middle. And then take an English muffin and just put this on top of it. Boom. Dang, you just took the whole thing. That's your big giant mouth. <laughs> if you look back there, guys, Trey just brought it to my attention. There's mountains. I thought those were clouds, but those are mountains. You see them? We're about to get off Catalina Island and we are waiting for the concierge staff member to escort us downstairs to the gangway so that we can head out to Catalina and explore Catalina Island. Uh, I'm ready, I'm excited, I'm stoked. And so it's gonna be a lot of fun to see what we can get into. So we're getting ready to get off at Catalina Island. We're gonna jump on another little boat. So we're gonna take you guys along with us until we get to the island and then we're just gonna explore. We don't have any excursions planned just because I wasn't sure of the weather. When they say cold, us Floridians, we staying in the house, turn the heat on. In the left, okay. <laughs> we got Monte Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> We have to take a smaller boat over to Catalina Island. It's not just gonna pull up to the curb and you get off. We're on that boat now and it's rocky and it's wavy. And, uh, but I don't know how long it's gonna take. You know how long did they say? About 10 minutes. So it's about a 10 minute ride, right? It's kind of like being on a ferry. One of the perks being a concierge guest, they actually like let you get off the ship first. So you kind of get like first priority exiting and boarding. He didn't tell me to watch my step, he told me to watch my head. <laughs> as soon as you get off the little ferry, right here to your left, they have a check-in area for your excursions. If you booked excursions, you can actually rent snorkel gear in wetsuits. So they have like a price list or whatever. Then you can also get some sunglasses and jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me smile. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, did you know that Catalina Island was the birthplace of straw? This is the first place that straw was ever made. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. Did you know that this is the city of Avalon? I did not know that. I just knew that straw comes from Catalina Island. Were well, you looking at your broom and you wonder where straw came from? Catalina Island is where it comes from. Okay. They have a volleyball court right here and a basketball court. You want to come out here and ball in Catalina Island? <laughs> Wow, the water is so clear. They have golf cart rentals, and I wanna go see how much they are. You can rent the golf cart for $60 for a party of four for an hour, but you gotta have another $60 cash deposit. Thank goodness they got an ATM. They knew what they was doing. They got ATM behind me. But she said if you if you go for like an hour and a half, they'll take that $60 cash as you did as a deposit, they'll take 30 off and give you 30 back. If you go for two hours and you're paying the whole 120. They give you a map and tell you like locations and places to really go sightsee. I think it's a really good deal because a family of four can go do a two hour excursion for $120. And then you get to kind of like get off and take pictures. That's worth it to me. Remember if you're going to Catalina Island to bring cash or you're gonna to have to use the ATM and pay a fee. I'm cheap, I don't like paying the fee, but I'm thinking about doing this excursion. So we met some new people on the cruise and they told us about this donut spot. They said it's the only donut spot that's here on the island. And they said, go in there and tell them that you know the Kellogg's. So that's what we're here to do. But I just looked at the pricing for their donuts and oh my gosh, I can, eat, I can get like 10. I got my favorite, which is maple, a classic. That's your favorite? Oh, it's my favorite. I got a pink frosted with uh, sprinkles. Look how big. They are big. These donuts only cost me $6 for both. <laughs> you can't compare to the uh, Everglades. Mm. Hey, I'm charged. Oh, it's good though. Ooh. Ooh, here's like a vanilla mm. frosted. But this maple though. Oh my gosh. This donut is so good and fluffy. I'm trying to sit here and eat my donut in peace. All right, so we just walked down the pier. And there are so many restaurants and like ice cream spots and like a pizza parlor I just saw. This restaurant right here, you can actually sit outside, have a lunch. I don't know what it tastes like, just telling you now. 
Wait, you can look at the Disney cruise ship that's in the background. And I forgot to mention, the name of the restaurant is Blue Water Avalon. It looks cool, we might have to check out the menu. The Blue Water Avalon is where we are right now. Let's see what they have. They have a seasonal special, which is Italy's Chiapani. I'm probably butchering that, but it's $36, whatever that is, so we're not getting that. Uh, is there a kid's menu? <laughs> I guess this is for happy hour. Get happy, I'm imagining that's for happy hour. They have garlic parmesan fries, charred edamame, two oysters on the half shell, two oyster shrimp shooters, uh, domestic bottle beer for $6, draft beer is $8, calamari $10, black and fish tacos, firecracker shrimp, tater tots $10, $12 for a bar yeah, burger, barbecue relax, ribs, okay. baked crab and artichoke dip. The beer battered fish and chips, 22 bucks. Too bad I'm allergic to $22 hamburgers. <laughs> you are? It makes me itch. It gives me a rash. Right in front of us, we have Coney Island West. They sell burgers, hot dogs, fries. And so I wonder if they use Nathan's Franks like they do in Coney Island. I saw somebody eating some of this food. It looks delicious. I don't know if I'm gonna get anything because it seems like that's all I do is eat, eat, eat. That's a big part of being on the cruise, is the food, right? But maybe I'll come back and get something. There are plenty of scourges that you can book on Catalina Island. We just didn't book any because uh, we're cheap. <laughs> but there's a lot of things to do here. We usually get off the ships at the port of call just so that we can say that we put our feet on different areas or in different lands or in different states or in different countries. So we usually get off just to do that. But um, we don't always do excursions. Uh, it just depends on your budget or if you feel like doing stuff or not. Well, we will be back here because it's beautiful. This place, Carolina Island is gorgeous. And this is the birthplace of straw. So how can you go wrong with that? You know straw came from here? <laughs> no. Straw came from here. Like straw. Oh, guys, we're just walking after taking some pictures. I see a nice bathroom. Good thing because I need to go. All right, the bathrooms weren't bad. Just like a park bathroom, just less pee smell. <laughs> if you need to take a shower, there's public showers over here. Oh. At the same time, you can get snacks, cold drinks, ice, and ice cream at the same place you take a shower. So that's very uh, convenient. It's an all-in-one, one-stop drop type of place. <laughs> Look at the orange fish. guys we just happened to walk over here to the Avalon theater but it is closed today hmm. but they have a thousand seats for the movie theater that's a lot of seating on the top floor they actually have a ballroom and he said they hold a lot of events and stuff they have tours like two in the morning two in the evening but I just thought this was like neat because it looked like a huge Coliseum from the outside that you could see from the ship and I was like oh let's go over there so we just kind of came to look but they have a private event going on but that's kind of cool because I was going to ask them if they took the A-list because I was like fourteen fifty for a ticket like, yo, I got the A-list. Y'all take that. They have a couple movies playing. They have Elvis and then this one. This gentleman just told me it is the world's largest circular dance floor. Like, I was gonna go up there and like, bust the move and just like, er. They call this a casino, which is a place of gathering. This is where you gather and you hang out and you have a good time. The awesome man just told us about the place. He's gonna give us a little private tour, so shh, don't tell anybody because it doesn't happen often. Built in 1929, it uh, has ramps instead of stairs because they needed a way to get people to the top floor. Elevators weren't very common back then. And so Wrigley had a baseball stadium that had ramps, and so he copied the ramps from the baseball stadium to get people to the Grand Ballroom. So I want to show you guys down here, people are actually in that freezing water scuba diving and stuff. Look. I found the original elevator from Tower of Terror. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it still works. So I told you guys we got a private tour, right? So we're gonna wow. take you into the movie theater. It has about a thousand seats. This place is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, come on. The dome ceiling was constructed this way for the acoustics 
in anticipation of talk movies. Trey, talk. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> That's funny. So what if someone was eating popcorn in here? Oh. Is that amplify? <laughs> yeah, no popcorn eating in here. <laughs> All right, guys, we got super lucky. Chuck just gave us our own personal tour of the beautiful ballroom and the movie theater. I cannot wait for you guys to watch the video because it is so gorgeous in there that words can't even express how beautiful it really is. You guys need to book it yourself so you guys can get the feel and know it. It just feels so like, like you're in a whole different place. You guys can book a tour online. It's about 20 bucks, so like totally worth it. We're on the pier right now where you can book excursions. You can book parasailing. There's a semi-submarine that you can get into. There's tour that you can do yes and you guys can actually book it right here on the pier right here they have activities and tours and tickets and they give you a price list and this is where we just went the avalon exit look discover the casino tour <laughs> Now we're on our way back to the ship because the girl wants lunch. We were gonna get some fish and chips, but the line was too long, so I think everyone knows that that's a place to go get some fish and chips. So we're just gonna go back and have some lunch on the ship. Tonight we're gonna be eating at Tiana's place. We were in the French Quarter Lounge taking pictures, getting ready for dinner. I'm trying to get in that that vibe, get in that mood. They gave us these. These are really their coasters. Aren't they really awesome? Look at this, look at the back. All right guys, this is one of the most anticipated dinners ever. This is like the dinner of all dinners that I have been waiting on. I cannot wait to experience what's gonna happen tonight in Tiana's place. So as you guys can see, we are pretty close to the stage, which is perfect. I mean, I kind of want that table, but you know what? I'm gonna be grateful that I'm actually this close and not like in the back. I'm gonna put some voodoo on that table and make them switch with us. <laughs> Look at these. These are awesome. Brooklyn, are you excited to see Miss Tiana? I'm oh, yeah? scared of the alligator though. I mean, I don't blame you. You got a seven foot alligator walking around playing the trumpet. Yeah. So I'm just saying there's a little bit of fear going on over here too. This just goes to show you, with a little bit of hard work, not going outside, not playing with your friends, staying secluded to yourself, you too can own your own restaurant. Do you guys see the lily pad on the table? That's nice, that's a nice lily pad. The atmosphere is a little noisy. It's dimly lit. It's the perfect atmosphere for a party, a New Orleans style party. Les Salem Bon Ton Relais. Let the good times roll for those of you who don't know what that meant. But we're about to have a good time up in here on Bourbon Street. All right, guys, so I got the boudin sausage fritters, which sounds pretty good. And then I went and got the New Orleans seafood pepper pot. Brooklyn actually got the Mama Odie's tomato soup. Ah, Tiana's walking around the restaurant taking pictures with folks at their tables. She hasn't gotten to our table yet. Like it? All right. I'm gonna let Ray 
can tell you how the shrimp and grits taste. I'm not really a grits fan, but tonight I'm eating. Is there cheese in these grits? I don't think June could eat this because I think I just tasted a piece of sausage. Okay. Only that. They put goat cheese in it. So if you want it, it has cheese in it. Yes, it has goat cheese because I just tasted it. It was what cheese? But goat. Wow. Um, I'm still trying to give you the review on mine and he cleaned his plate. I'm going to eat dad's too because he can't eat it. Wow.
up next, and we cannot leave Tiana's place without having beignets. Disney has their own rendition of what beignets are. So, and they're not bad. They're just not the beignets I'm used to in New Orleans. And that's not being negative. That's just me being honest. The ratio of powdered sugar to beignet, that's important. So, if you know, you know. All right, so they brought us our beignets, and you guys know, just like Disney, they always serve it with some kind of sauce. This one is served with chocolate sauce. I want to see what the beignets, oh, they're hot and fresh. Now, I need a little bit more sugar. This baby needs to be white. You need to like. Ooh, oh, I already know. All right. This is definitely a Disney beignet. And what I mean by that, it looks like a donut. Let's try it. Dip it in some sugar. According to Ray, the beignets are going into the book of things we don't speak of. I don't think they're that bad, but let me try it. And I do see that there's not enough powdered sugar on it. Um, it's supposed to sprinkle me mine, and it ain't really sprinkle me. It's supposed to drown the beignets with the powdered sugar. Uh, it's, they're not quite drowned. They're treading water still. They are hot, I will say that. But like I said, this is not supposed to be naked. This is a little beignet booty showing, right? So this is supposed to be covered with powdered sugar. And uh, it's not enough to pour. Not enough. Mm. They are good to me. The powdered sugar and the donut. Not the beignet, the donut, because that's what this is. They actually taste pretty good. I didn't even dip them in the sauce yet. But the powdered sugar and the donut together are amazing to me. I'm gonna dip it in the chocolate sauce. It's not that bad to me. Ray and I have just returned from Tiana's place. We just walk in here and we see our towel animal for the night. Wait, wait, what is that, a bear? What is that? Trey, what is this? Please let us know what that is, because uh, <laughs> we're going to lose sleep not knowing. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with us today. We had a great time. Catalina Island, man, was it beautiful. So if you're in the area, make sure you check Catalina Island out, because that, was, that place was gorgeous. It had a French Riviera vibe to it. Yeah, it was very calm to me and very, peaceful. Very peaceful, very mellow, very relaxing. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we had dinner, Tiana's place. Everything was good. We had a great day. No complaints here. Thank you all for hanging out with us today. Until next time, bye. bye. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.